actually. So just kind of standard opening here from both players. A little bit later Nexus from Critter, but nothing crazy. Yep. Nothing too crazy yet. I think he's choosing to just macro up. For now, he definitely has 24 workers, whereas Ryza had 22. So I guess there's not too big of a difference, but like you said, it was interesting that he took that a little later than normal. Yep. I'm sure Protoss players in the chat are like, nah, man, that was perfectly timed. Don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. That's not what we're here for. We just make guesses at stuff. Dude. It was late, so. says the Zerg, right? Like, I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I'm just guessing. That's fair. That's fair. So, um, looks like some lings are coming across now for Ryza. Um, meanwhile, getting some saturation down on the base. Roach Warren and an Evo Chamber coming down as well. So, kind of telling as far as the tech path. Oh, yeah. I should probably have production tab on. I heard that's a good one to show up. Bro, I mean, eh. It's, it's, just, it's all right. These lings coming in, they're going to poke at this wall, but they're not going to be able to get through unless they try to do a juke move. Instead, they're going to choose to go for this pylon, which is pretty nice, but this stalker is going to come in and shoo them away. Yep. Yep, so nice play there. Meanwhile, looks like the Robo Bay coming down, uh, actually just about three quarters of the way done for Critter, uh, as well as having his Twilight Council about halfway done. So, j you know, taking a look at that, that kind of tells me that uh, he wants to gear up for some sort of gateway push, gateway robo push in a little bit here. Um, we'll have to see what he decides to research out of that Twilight <laughs> Council, though. Excuse me. And uh, at the moment, I guess, how many gates does he have? It looks like he's <laughs> dropping three right now. Oh, man, I apologize. And DT Shrine goes down for him as well. So he actually doesn't use the Twilight Council for any sort of... Um, you know, Blink or Resonating Glaives, he just uses it for the DTs. Shit, Critter was watching Oral Rock, and he's like, all right, all right, I can't be upstaged by that. I got to throw out some DTs of my own here. Yep. Oh, and yep. he's using the Stalker to defend the vision from this Overlord coming in, so maybe they won't see this coming down. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, Ryza with a good scout, but I don't think it's going to make it. You know, I'll have to check Ryza's vision right now, but it hasn't right seen the DT Shrine yet, and it, it will not see it, so. I forgot I can't yell because they don't have a compressor or whatever the hell they were talking about. I'll Why don't you just to, turn your, turn your mic down? <sighs> Can you hear there me? There you go. The silent hype. <sighs> <sighs> so it looks like the Observer now coming over for Critter. He's going to get eyes on this third, most likely. Um, Ryza has you know, a handful of roaches. Should be able to protect them against anything that comes across the map. But it doesn't look like Critter really wants to do that at the moment. Just getting some scouting intel. Yep. Critter just coming over with his, this Observer. Going to see those. And it's going to poke into the main two. I like where it's positioned though. It'll be able to see anything coming down this ramp. And anything moving out. So pretty good Observer placement by our resident Protoss. Oh shit. Two DTs moving across the map. Yep. We'll have to see. Ryza has the ability to see those. But they'd have to be looking, you know, super, super close. So um, most likely didn't see those. Uh, we'll probably just, those DTs will probably just hit the base. And there doesn't seem to be any sort of detection uh, for Ryza. Absolutely no layer either. So yeah. going to be really hard to defend these. Yep. And they're coming in right now. We'll see what he chooses to do about this. Yep. Uh, splits them. One going to the natural and one going to the main. Definitely a nice play. One actually in the third too. So really nice oh. from Critter. Yeah, definitely. Critter's just going to choose to shred these drones with 13 already going down. One tearing up the main mineral line and one tearing up the natural. 14, 15. This is just havoc on these drones. They should probably pull them out of there and get them down. But they have the spire. I mean, this is just a really rough spot to be in coming from a fellow Zerg. Uh, third DT joins the party. They're going to fire down this. This is getting extremely ugly as now 20 total workers have dropped for Ryza. Yep. Yep, these queens also kind of getting, you know, smacked down here by the DTs. Looks like it, oh, well, no, it's going to run away and try and get the spores. I think that's probably a better decision here. One spore going down, uh, two DTs wreaking havoc in the natural. Ooh, nice with the corrosive biles. I mean, I guess you could use those to kill them. Oh, man. This you don't need to target them, but, yeah, this is, this this is pretty so rough filthy. for the Zerg, man. Oh, this hurts my Zerg heart. I mean, it's happened to me so many times, so, you know, it happens, but, man, it make... sucks when it does. Gonna make you like stroke out, dude. You're just like, no, <laughs> please, no, 20, not 30. I, I can't even count this high. I'm just now repeating the numbers back, but I have no no meaning behind them because it's just a high number. 31 drones have so far died. Yeah, absolute crazy damage. Looks like the DT will finally go down. There is still one in the main wreaking havoc yeah. uh, on that spawning pool. Ryza is in a terrible, terrible spot. Yep, Ryza um, really needs to prevent this from going down. The game is already hurting enough. He's gonna transfuse it though. I love that play. That was a very well good, uh, very. Well played by Ryza, but I think it's still going to go down. Yep, so spotting pool going down, and Ryza sitting on 12 workers to Critter's 41. Critter definitely in the driver's seat of this game. Got more gateways coming back in at his base, um, and he still doesn't have a way to clean up the, the 1DT. So. What a dirty, well, I guess, dirty man. 
Corrosive Biles will do it. Critter, you know, could have microed a little bit better and kept it alive, but chooses to, to focus on his base instead. Yeah. Dutchie's asking, how do we report scores? You could either tell them to me, and I'll go ahead and do it for you after this game, or you can edit them yourself. You just have to be uh, logged in, go to that site that Duke just provided, and then you click on the little, it looks like a clipboard with the pin over it, and you just edit them into there. Or just shoot them to me, Dutchie, either way. Either way, man. Yeah, so it looks think... like Critter with three Archons, a whole bunch of Zealots, uh, and an Immortal on Soccer. So he has a nice beefy force. Uh, anything that Rise of Builds really right now. I mean, he has a handful of Roach Ravager, but it really just isn't going to be enough if Critter, you know, can just micro his units appropriately. Yeah, for sure. For sure, that was a, uh, unfortunate. I can't even say anything, though, because it's happened to me so many times. It's just an unfortunate thing that happens. If that Overlord would have got poked into the base and saw the DT Shrine, then, you know, maybe they could have prepared for it. But it's just much easier said than done, especially from the caster standpoint. And these Archons and a bunch of these Zealots are going to come in and Critter's going to choose to attack. These Queens are going to feel the wrath of that very shortly. Yep, yep. Critter uh, coming in now. Zerg doing the best that they can to lay down some damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough, especially with Charge Latch finishing up now. Um, he's going to come up this ramp and just, ooh. If he had blocked that, I feel like he would have been able to even take a better fight. But Yeah, that economic damage in the beginning of the game was just too much. They wiped out two entire mineral lines, and GG is called with the yep. LOL DTs thrown in for good measure as Critter takes game one. That is very true. That moment when supply block costs you your tournament life. No, Shirsha dies out. That was my boy.